Before we start this video, I also one want to say subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Hit the notification bell below so you get notified. Um, but for real, take my advice or don't. But uh, any anything that you do on the track is not my fault. This is uh, this is my just professional opinion. But uh, it's at uh, the user's discretion if you want to use my advice or not or if whatever. So just to let you all know. We are getting started with Mr. Jordan here. Um, he's at Thunder Hill. I've never been to Thunder Hill before, but I have watched this video a couple times now. See what kind of words of wisdom and advice we can give him. He was looking to improve on trail braking, picking up the throttle a bit earlier for the exits. I already watched this video uh, a couple times, like I said, my initial thinking was he could definitely be wide open in some spots where he's not. Um, I'm going to try and keep the volume a little bit uh, low on the laptop so that way it's not uh, conflicting with the audio of the video that I upload and, the, and my speaking. So, alright, here we go into turn one, crossing over that white line. I've seen a lot of people do that, so I'm assuming that that's the right line. Just kind of missed that apex just a little bit there in turn one, but ran out, used the whole track on the exit. I like that. Here in this long bowl left-hander turn two, I think you could maybe even drift out a little bit more to kind of square it up a little bit more. Um, and you could be probably wide open a little bit earlier there. Here, looks like a blind entry into this right-hander. I kind of like that you stayed out a little bit at the beginning and then kind of uh, closed off the exit. Again, I think you could have been a bit more uh, tidy with your apex in that last, that left-hander after the blind right. Looked good through that uphill, downhill, blind section. I do like the entry into here, and uh, and I think you actually got that left-hander pretty spot on. These All these little short shoots, though, you need to be like screaming the tits off the thing um, as soon as you can. That actually looked really good through there. Um, I think if you can get the bike stood up a little bit more on the exit, you'll be able to be wide open a little bit sooner. There, through that little flip-flop blind chicane thing, you can be way more assertive on the throttle, I think, through there. And that's going to be a good chunk of time because any mile per hour that you get at the top of that, you're going to be carrying all the way down that hill and all the way to the next corner. There, I mean, this one, this last chicane thing where the pit wall is is tricky because it's Everybody uses that runoff, so I mean, if you're going to use the runoff, commit to using that runoff and hold the thing wide open and just maximize that mile per hour through there. And then there, the last two corners, I think you could be a little bit more patient. Wait on that first apex just a little bit longer before you crack the throttle. Um, I think that'll help you get the, get the bike turned a little bit more before you start running out. Because what, what you do there is you're in the corner and the apex is maybe five feet farther around the corner and you're touching the throttle and running out. So instead of touching the throttle early and running out, let's wait, 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 touch the throttle and then you can really accelerate off the corner. Um, and then that's gonna that's gonna make sure that you're not having to like play with the throttle, so. Um, those are the main things. Let's rewatch it again. I know he uh, ran off after the after this lap, right into the dirt. Probably pumped with this lap time and just uh, just happened to miss the brake marker or whatever, and uh, and run off in turn one here. So um, let's work on that. Let's let's make the uh, make the turn one the next time. Don't get too excited about your lap time and uh, and stay focused on what you're doing so that way you don't. Uh, that little mistake again. Uh, here we go, starting the lap over again. Pick up on a couple little bits here. Uh, coming into turn one. I mean, you honestly could probably even use more of that that white line, and that'll be uh, that'll be opening up the track another couple of feet, so you can carry more mile per hour. Another thing with the trail break in here is. I mean, honestly, this track doesn't seem like you slow down a whole lot. So when you're trail braking, like I said in a previous video, you're not actually braking to slow the bike down, you're braking to turn the bike. So uh, keep 
keep that in mind. You don't want to be using a whole bunch of brake pressure, but the brake pressure you do use, you want it to be set in the front so it'll turn. Up over this blind little jump thing. Kind of look, you look good. I think you can get closer to that left curve. Keep the bike a little more upright to the right. Uh, set up for this long left hander. Looks good. Again, you need to be wanting the thing on a little bit sooner. And if you're kind of feeling the rear end moving around a little bit, just cover that back brake and it'll kind of settle things down just enough where you might be able to hold the thing wide open a little bit, uh, a little bit sooner, a little bit more aggressive. Uh, this is the spot I was talking about before where from this left, you should be uh, wide open there. Let the thing eat coming down that hill. Like you should be able to turn from the left, flick the thing to the right, and then stand it up so you don't have any problems going down that'll be a comment of, oh, your hot side going down the hill. Flick the thing harder when you're still going up the face of it, and then stand it up on your way down. I've never ridden here, but that's what I would be doing if I was riding here. And uh, here we go again into the last two corners. Like I said, if you could just wait just a split second right here, get the thing pointed a little bit more and just drive it, then you're going to be out a little bit more and be able to spread the last corner off even more, so you'll be... Uh, it would be wide open and a little bit more safe while you're wide open, not hanging onto the edge of the tire, keeping the thing leaned over and, and wicking the thing wide open. So, uh, there you guys go. That was two laps around Thunder Hill on the ZX6 um, from our, our boy Jordan. Jordan, let's uh, let's work on a couple little things with maximizing our time wide open. I think that could be really beneficial. Um, you're gonna have to get a little bit more aggressive, and like I said, to do that, you can cover the back brake a little bit, like on the exits, so that way if the thing does start sliding or moving around a lot and you don't feel comfortable, just drag the back brake, tap the back brake, and it'll keep the thing a bit more controlled. Um, and then a couple things with like flicking the bike back in those blind sections, I think you can tidy that stuff up a little bit. And uh, yeah, overall, you look really good going good around uh, around Thunder Hill. This looks like a track that I need to get out to at some point. Thing uh, track looks sweet. So um, so yeah, keep grinding. We'll uh, we'll see you at the track. I'm sure this year. I saw that RTR on there, ready to ride. Woo! Yeah, baby, Ryan Snooks, my man. But uh, but yeah, daily uploads with this online coaching thing until I run out of people to coach. So. Um, get at me in the in the Facebook Instagram DMs or leave a comment on YouTube and we will get back to you this has been pretty cool I uh, I do enjoy doing this and it's cool looking at everybody else's riding and kinda picking it apart seeing what they're doing what they could be doing differently I like this angle with the camera on the helmet but I know that's not allowed at all the uh, track events that we all go to so um, whatever you do when you're filming if you're filming for this or just filming for your own YouTube or whatever don't do anything that the track doesn't allow you to do. Like, put if you can't put your uh, camera on your helmet, don't do it. But um, if you can, it is a cool angle. Something that I wouldn't recommend doing all the time, riding with a camera here because it is dangerous. And um, but yeah, that's that. Thank you guys for watching another one of these coaching videos. See y'all tomorrow.